warns that the Earth is now in an era of global boiling. Officials fear up to 20,000 people could be dead in the city of Derna on the Mediterranean. The largest natural disaster in Hawaii's history. The month of July is slated to become the world's hottest month, shattering every other earlier record. So the disappearing sea ice is basically a heat shield on the planet so that when the solar radiation comes down and it hits the heat shield, which is this thick white ice, 80% of the solar radiation is reflected back into the atmosphere. If the solar radiation comes down and hits the open ocean, then only 5% of that heat is reflected back into the atmosphere. And this is what concerns scientists, it's what concerns us. As more and more dark ocean water is exposed, more and more energy from the sun is absorbed into the surface of the planet. That increases the heating of the atmosphere. It also accelerates more ice melt, which results in more exposure of dark ocean water, which results in more heating, which results in more ice melt, and it's a fast feedback loop. The Arctic amplification is contributing to an accelerated warming of the Arctic. The Arctic is warming four times faster than the rest of the world, and it's actually contributing to climate change now, not just because of climate change. We're feeling it in the sense of uh, increased uh, temperatures. We're feeling it and seeing it in, in, in terms of increased flooding, um, sea level rise changes in climatary patterns where we're getting uh, excessive droughts in some years, excessive uh, hurricanes and, and more energy in the hurricanes because of a warming atmosphere. And all of that is occurring as we speak and it's accelerating. I think if you think back even 10 years ago, we didn't experience the kind of climate anomalies that we're experiencing today. These are some of the consequences of this additional energy that's being contributed to the Earth's energy imbalance because of loss of ice. Yeah, so our approach to preserving and uh, restoring Arctic sea ice is to use this highly reflective material called hollow glass microspheres. These hollow glass microspheres are quite small, uh, smaller than the diameter of a human hair, about 60 microns in diameter. They're spherical, they're hollow, and they're made of glass. Because they're hollow, they float. They're called hydrophilic, which means they stick to water. These hollow glass microspheres, when spread in a very thin layer over the ice, can actually preserve and extend the life of the ice. And so now we want to study this more so that we can use this in the Arctic to preserve sea ice and protect the planet. The thing that makes us so unique is the fact that we're using natural materials. We're not trying to introduce something foreign into the atmosphere or into the environment. We are a small organization and we've got large goals. And in order to achieve those goals, we need um, significant resources. We need public, we need private and individual donations and, and support. Please consider giving to Arctic Ice Project. If we do this together, we can create a brighter future for all of us.